Yes, so it's exactly the way the thumbnail and the title read. YouTube wants me, me, Star Wars fanatic, to hate Star Wars. Seems weird, doesn't it? Huh. At least that's the impression I got when I had spoke to their online chat. Yeah, my last video didn't do so hot, and that's okay. I'm not here for the money anyway. It's just... It'd be nice to be appreciated by the people I'm making the content for, you guys, and, well, YouTube benefits from it as well, as long as they show my material. And if I don't get the message out to you guys, then YouTube doesn't make their money. So, what gives? Yeah, so a couple of years ago, I talked to the same chatbots, I mean, online chat, and they told me that the click-through rate of a video, the time watched on a video, and engagements on a video are what matters to getting the video seen by more people. Okay, it's pretty simple. So I worked on all that stuff, and my last video had the highest click-through rate of any video I've ever had. It had abnormally high view rating, and it had a lot of engagement, yet it got 600 and something views. So I got a hold of them and said, hey, what gives? You guys told me this is the case, and now it's not the case. And they said, no, that's not the case at all. You know, the case is relevance. Well, I was talking about the acolyte of all things, and that's pretty relevant right now in the Star Wars community. So many people hate it, and so many people love it. And like I said before, I'm reserving my judgment on the show until the end. But I'm going to go ahead and give YouTube what it wants right now, you know, just as a test, and you guys, please forgive me for this. I know my mouth's going to feel like it's on fire after I say this, but I hate Star Wars. I hate the Acolyte. It's so woke. Disney is so woke, and it just needs to stop. It needs to be canceled. Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy need to be fired, and Dave Filoni needs to take over in a limited capacity because he's woke too. Oh, my God, yeah, that burned a little more than I like. I'm a Star Wars fanatic, and I talk about Star Wars. I sometimes give my opinions on the shows when they're over, but most of the time, I just try to talk about what's in the actual shows, not whether I like it or whether you should like it or whether you should dislike it or anything like that, because I don't feel like I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator. There's a big difference. And YouTube wants me to be the influencer, like so many other Star Wars channels that are getting more views, way more views than I ever get from my videos and that's fine if that's their niche and that's what they want to jump into and that's how they want to make their money that's cool but I'm not going to do that because you guys have a right to your opinions whether you agree with me or not and I like it that way that keeps the world going differing opinions checks and balances all that good stuff and I know there are a lot of you out there who don't like the Acolyte, and there are a lot of you who do like it, like I said before. But I don't want you to take my opinion of it and use that as fuel for liking it or disliking it. I do stay on the positive side of Star Wars. Why? Because it's freaking Star Wars, baby. And I freaking love it. But I don't love everything about it. There are goofy parts in the Acolyte that I think... Eh, such as Vernestra. I don't like her. I don't like the acting that's coming from that actress, or actor as they're called now. I think she's wooden and very plain. There could have been somebody so much better in that part. Uh, that's from episode one all the way to episode six. That's what I'm seeing is that this lady isn't all that great and seems like a nepotism hire to me. But what are you going to do? She's in it. It's canon. It's there. It's not going away. People can delete it and delete their Disney account all they want. And I'm, I'm proud of them for doing that. If that's how they feel about it, do it. You know, that's how you show them that you disapprove of something. But being a Star Wars channel, I am going to continue talking about Star Wars because it's in the freaking name of the channel. Star Wars fanatic. Okay, now that I got all my preachy bullshit out of the way... Let's talk about the Acolyte for just a moment. Episode 6. Yeah, we'll talk about it for just a moment. I'll probably make another video on it now that I am released to go ahead and make content again through my job. Nope, can't tell you what my job is. It's very hush-hush, very private. Anyways, so, yeah, no, I'm not a hired hitman or anything like that. I'm 
too old for that anymore. Not that I ever did it before. I haven't. Okay, so the Acolyte Episode 6 brings us down from the high that we were on after Episode 5, after seeing what Chimere can actually do, and what a badass he actually is. And he was quite the badass. But this one brings us into normal life of both the Jedi and Chimere. Well, not as much the Jedi, Soul's just trying to get the hell out of town and take Osha, he thinks is Osha, with him. But Chimere is showing a different side of the Sith that we haven't seen before. And a lot of people hated this episode because it was so slow. But there's a lot of story within it. There's so much deeper in it that we just didn't realize it. Or some people didn't. It's showing that Sith are not evil all the time. If he is in fact a Sith. That they're not constantly plotting and scheming and killing people and mass murdering and eating planets and creating rules of two and breaking rules of two. They're not always doing that stuff. Sometimes they have to eat. Sometimes they have to shower or bathe, bathe in a pond. And you notice Osha taking a look at his ding dong? Yeah, she did. Yep. So it's showing another side of that as well, that she still has desires. That part of those desires is why she failed as a Jedi. And it's why May failed as a Sith or Acolyte or Apprentice or Pupil or whatever you want to call her because he could not seduce her. She was more worried about revenge than she was about the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture. He's looking for somebody who will be dedicated to it. And Osha seems like she's just that candidate. And that's what we saw in this episode. It wasn't about sex or anything okay kind of it was kind of about sex she looked at his wiener um but yeah but it's not about all that other stuff really it's about finding a pupil that is going to stand her ground and stick around not falter anytime she gets this feeling that she needs to return to her family or anything like that because right now she hates may so she's not going to turn just because may is alive now, we're going to see a lot of progression. We only have two episodes left of this season, and I think it's going to continue on for more seasons. Aww, to the dismay of a lot of people. But to me, it's just talking about Star Wars, and that's what I'm going to do. If they don't continue it for another season, I'll talk about something else. If they continue it for another season, I'll talk about the Acolyte. And then we have Skeleton Crew coming up, and or season two, which I'm most excited for, because... That is my favorite show, and I will tell you, I love that show. Yeah, I know a lot of people do, but I liked it from the beginning. From episode one, it showed a really rough, tough guy who wasn't afraid to take down a couple coppers. Not that that's good. We shouldn't be trying to take down coppers, everybody. Shouldn't do it. It's bad. But I'm not going to get into that because that's on a whole other spectrum that I'm not willing to deal with right now. And I don't want to hear any backlash from it or hear anybody agree with me about it or anything because it's one of those things. It's part of our world and it's something we have to live with for now. Anyway, so yeah, I want to do more videos on the Acolyte here soon now that I do have the go ahead to go ahead and make more Star Wars content. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button button yeah let's show youtube that you don't have to hate star wars to make a popular video let's see if we can get this one up above a thousand views shall we yeah like the video share it with some friends some dogs some cats whatever your lover anybody you want share the video with them even a gerbil i don't mind if gerbils watch my videos gerbils are cute yeah Anyways, this is Gerald, a Star Wars fanatic, signing off. Wishing you all great health, happiness, and peace. Thank you all for watching, and remember, this is the way.